Welcome to the Useful Idiot News, Episode 1, Margaret Sanger, Carl Becker reporting. Who was Margaret Sanger? Since much of the press and history of Sanger is positively associated with women's rights and health care, perhaps we'll take an alternate view here. Primarily known today as the founder of what would later become Planned Parenthood, hailed in some circles as an advocate for women's rights and health care. She personally described her purpose as to limit the reproductive abilities of the so-called underclass. Consequently, she is closely identified with the progressives and eugenics movement. Eugenics may be defined as the practice of controlled selective breeding to improve the human population. This is accomplished through various forms of birth control, including forced sterilization. Eugenics in America, the Supreme Court upheld the practice of forced sterilization in the 1927 case, Buck v. Bell. In a decision written by Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., the court ruled that a state statute of compulsory sterilization of the unfit including the intellectually disabled, quote, for the protection and health of the state, unquote, did not violate the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. Holmes concluded his argument by declaring that three generations of imbeciles are enough. Also, the Supreme Court has never expressly overturned the decision of Buck versus Bell. Progressives, Eugenics, and Hitler the progressive movement sought to improve societal conditions by empowering the higher levels of government, perhaps an early version of the deep state. There was also willingness by progressives to ignore individual liberty for the sake of improving America. This is associated with their support for eugenics. For at least three decades, eugenics ideas were politically influential culturally fashionable and scientifically mainstream. In organizing their eugenics program, the Nazis were inspired by the United States policies of forced sterilization, especially the eugenics laws that had been enacted in California. By 1921, California had accounted for 80% of the sterilizations nationwide. The first Nazi statute was consciously based on the model of the American Eugenics Society. Consequently, the progressives and Hitler had some common ground and mutual admiration. Therefore, some context to the term Nazi sympathizers. Would Sanger be a Trump supporter today? From her essay, My Way to Peace, January 1932. Open the gates of the USA to those countries whose inhabitants have the inherent talents and national characteristics desirable, eliminating entirely those countries whose subjects have already been difficult to assimilate. Margaret Sanger tributes. Currently, her name is placed on national landmarks, prominent buildings, and also libraries. Perhaps in a bit of poetic justice, it appears that the Margaret Sanger Square is located on a one-way street. And the accolades continue. Quite a bit of discussion lately about moving statues of American historical figures. Curious we never hear the name of Margaret Sanger mentioned. On a regular basis, you will hear praise of Sanger in media, art, and politics. Unfortunately, these same people heaping praise are less forgiving of Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. According to the CDC, more than 55 million abortions have reportedly occurred since 1973. The actual number may be much higher, as there is no mandatory reporting. Black women were more than 3.5 times more likely to have an abortion in 2014 than white women. History books will write that the progressive era lasted from the 1890s until 1920. Also, that the eugenics movement was discredited after World War II. Perhaps some of the ideas still remain and have just been successfully rebranded. Carl Becker reporting.
Thanks for watching. Comments always welcome. Also, like or subscribe. Greatly appreciated.